Hey guys, welcome to Letter of the Week series and this week we are focusing on letter O so let's get started with the activities. Uh, very recently my son has started showing a lot of interest in cursive letters. So I have a cursive sandpaper letter out on the shelf this time along with the print letter. So we're going to try and trace the cursive along with the print sandpaper. Again he has started showing a lot of interest in doodling and writing and scribbling letters. So I have a chalkboard here along with some chalks and a duster so we're going to try and doodle and scribble some letters here then here we have our letter of the week poster again all printables you see today are available for free on my blog so the link of that will be in the description box below next o is for octopus so i have a fun crafty activity for him so i've just made this octopus i know it doesn't look like one but basically it's just a fun cutting work so with the help of a scissor he just has to cut through the paper to make it look like an octopus down below we have an octopus scrubbing work he absolutely loves such activities he can just scrub and wash any object that he finds in the house so basically I have few tools here some soapy water a cloth to dry the octopus so just a fun practical life activity and after that we have our dot marker printable work and some clay work and this time along with clay I've included a pounder for him so he can use this to pound the clay onto the uppercase lowercase letters. Next O is for on and O is for off so a quick sorting work so basically I have these uh, templates on and off and I have few picture cards here and he basically has to sort them so he'll look at the pictures and see uh, which of the objects are on and which of the objects are off and accordingly sort them. Next O is for octagon so I have a tray here full of different colored buttons and he can pretty much use them the way he wants to. He can do patterning, counting or use it for his print and play so basically just an open ended work. Next we have this really simple book on opposites which he used to love when he was younger but he still does so I've kept that on the shelf and it's such a fun way to just practice opposites and look at different pictures. As always we have our letter of the week folder and this is a great way to practice our initial letter sounds of the objects we are reviewing this week. And lastly, O is for office, so I have a fun print and play set up for my son. So I have his leap pad out, which he likes to use as his laptop, and then a tray full of his office supplies, so he can use them and pretend to be a busy office goer. And to go along with this whole theme, I have this really cute book, it's called Alphabet Dress Up, and today we're going to focus on letter O. Uh, which talks about a busy office goer so all in all a fun way to do print and plays my son absolutely loves print and plays and he and his friends will come up with these amazing imaginative creative things so i'm sure he's going to truly enjoy this activity so that's that guys i love to keep my son's shelf super simple inviting yet child-led so that he is able to enjoy and it does not overwhelm him let me know if you guys have any suggestions or queries i would love to answer them as always i'm going to link up yulia's blog with whom i'm doing this awesome collab and i'll see you guys next week until then bye